On the South China Sea, as you know, the dispute is between, not between China and ASEAN as a whole, it's between China and the four, uh, four ASEAN states, Vietnam, Philippines, uh, Brunei and Malaysia. But of course, at the same time, there's also no doubt that the South China Sea issue will become a factor in the US-China contest. Because in any geopolitical contest, uh, if the other side has a problem, you try to act, you, you take advantage of it. So the United States quite naturally will take advantage of the South China Sea dispute and try to use it to embarrass China. And But if you read my book, Has China Won? Uh, I begin one chapter by describing a conversation I had with a former American ambassador to China. He's one of the best American ambassadors to China. He speaks Mandarin fluently. He grew up in China as the son of a missionary. His name is Stapleton Roy. And Stapleton Roy told me that at a meeting, I, do, I forget what year, maybe 2014, between uh, President Obama and President Xi Jinping. Uh, President Xi Jinping offered uh, to President Obama to demilitarize the South China Sea. Say, let's not have bases there. And then the Anglo-Saxon media will tell you that President Xi Jinping lied because he went on to militarize the South China Sea. But what Stapleton Roy told me, this is an American ambassador told me, is that the United States, instead of accepting the offer, rejected the offer. And that's why the militarization began. So you can see, therefore, on the South China Sea, you have one uh, uh, narrative in the Anglo-Saxon media, but they don't report what an American ambassador told me. So the, the, the issue of South China Sea is complicated, but I don't think that there will be war between the, uh, any of the sides. And in any case, uh, if the fundamental concern of the United States is freedom of navigation through the South China Sea, China will not block freedom of navigation. China today, because it is the world's number one trading power, has a greater vested interest in freedom of navigation than the United States. Because more trade goes to China than goes to the United States. So in that sense, there is no fundamental clash of interests on the issue of freedom of navigation through the South China Sea. They both can, can work with each other.